Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Chris and this is Webonics Gaming with Code Vein. This is part three. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. So in our last video, we I kind of like finished the starting area. We had to kill um, Oliver Collins at times, and we saw some of his memories, uh, which I'm guessing it like reflects like every kind of uh, Revenant, which gets re reawakened with the kind of like a bit of uh, loss going on, and we have to search for blood beads to quench the thirst and to keep to stay alive, basically. Otherwise, we just uh, Keep dying and um, continue to be reborn, maybe. Yeah, so we don't know too much uh, still about the story. Um, but we're going to have quite a bit of dialogue to start off with. I think the first thing we need to do is rest. Let's go and do that now. They don't like one of them disappears, but the other one just stays there. That's the uh, the DLC, uh, sorry, the season pass, uh, like, free DLC. Oh, it's not really free, is it? We pay for the DLC. But yeah, part of the DLC. Season pass. Bit of underboob. I feel like I need to cancel this. Right, did anything happen just there? Sorry, but I'm in the middle of taking inventory. Try me again later if you still need something. Uh, no. Um, so maybe we have to lie down on a different bed? Let's try this one. There's a wardrobes, tables. Let's try this bed. If this one's any different. Okay. So, what do we need to do? We kind of acquired a new voice phrase. Gesture. Okay, um, three tenths. Okay, so this is all the, uh, <coughs> kind of like, uh, guidance for the game, so we can see there's different, uh, things that we've, uh, kind of, we're going through most of this stuff, um, but there are little, uh, further descriptions of, uh, what each of the attributes mean, what's going to increase with those. Um, so we want uh, willpower. Willpower for the skill to help increase uh, effects elemental resistance and dark gifts. Further enhances dark gifts. And with that we also want... What else do we want? Uh, physical attack, physical attack. Um, th uh, dexterity does drain rating as well, so that could be useful. Um, okay, mobility, what's that? 
Fortune attacks. Okay, so mobility will be, will be good to uh, get to the fast dodge. And total weight as well, we need to reduce that. Um, okay. So who are we meant to speak to? Do we just speak to this guy again? The ability to draw strength from experiencing memories and the power to revitalize blood springs. Both unprecedented. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. It won't be much, just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about bloodthirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. Go, sure, just take my blood. I don't know if we have to lie back down on this bed. Um, I'm pretty sure that's like auto done the wait time for me. Um, right, so let's go back and speak to Lewis. I've done what I can to look into your talents. And I've confirmed something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to void types. Supposing you are a void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry. Something. I'm going to give you some of my blood. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium. Give my power to you. Okay. Well, here goes. Blood Brothers. Sure, oh, let's exchange blood with a stranger. Prometheus. Code owner Louis. Well balanced for combat, but fragile. Its gifts bolstered dodging and parrying. Did you Ooh. go visit Morasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of a revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. Okay. It's kind of like giving you a hint in the text that uh, it's a good idea to upgrade your weapons and armor I've at this point. Anything you could want. Even, Even the lost, lost are valuable customers, customers if they bring the right coin. coin. Let, Let me know, know if you need anything. So this is Coco. There's an exchange menu. If give valuables, um, we have some valuables here. And I guess if we give the right ones, we get trading points. Okay, so... Stamina booster, medicine, and a lightweight amp ampoule for <laughs> probability. Uh, temporarily stimulates awareness, which allows the user to work under greater strain. Um, the amount that can be absorbed by the body is limited, so users must be cautious not to overdose. So is that an item to increase stamina? Gift accelerator, small relatively regular looking drug, it ex activates blood flow, temporarily reduces, reducing the time required to use gifts. That's like a speed boost for casts. Um, a, a stamp and mercury chrome, a highly valuable mineral made from a special ore mixed with blood. Asked Murasami to use this to transform a weapon or blood veil and imbue it with obstructive properties. Creating an equipment specialized in slowing enemies at the cost of decreasing attacking gift properties. If you want it, I got it. See what she's got to sell. Um, so she's just going to have items. We haven't uh, ran through these in our inventory yet. Let's see what each of these does. Um, I'll probably go over those a bit later on. Got something to sell? Do we have anything to sell? We have some materials and we have some 
Uh, some of the trading gifts as well. Um, we're not going to sell anything just yet. All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. All revenants can don't do... Nice to meet you. If Louis brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. Oh, good timing. I've got everything set up now. What do you need? Um, it's a little talk. But I'll need you to bring the necessary materials if you want to upgrade a weapon. There's a shortage of pretty much everything these days. Still, we're better off than most people. Um, exchange. Let's see what uh, gift she has. Uh, I call concentrate. Dagger, raise gesture, and Hephaestus Chrome, a highly valuable mineral made up from special ore makes of blood. Uh, used to transform weapons and veils. Uh, with paralytic properties, creating equipment specialised in stunning enemies. Um, okay, so we've got upgrade equipment and transform equipment. Uh, upgrade. Let's have a look. Um, so if we wanted to upgrade something, it will cost uh, one queen iron. And 600 haze. So we could do this. I guess, like, the main thing we want to do is. Actually, does she. Let's see if she has any others. Um, okay, so Queen Slayer Claw, this is what we've got right now, and there's a different variate. Oh no. Queen, Queen Slayer Claw 2. Rebel Claw. Doesn't look like anything's changed. Uh, a modified Queen Slayer Claw that enhances all types of gifts. Um, apart from that, does it show up anywhere else? We can't see by how much it changes things. There's no... Um, no there's, there's no side by side on this. A rebel claw, a specially dyed Queen Slayer claw that enhances all types of gifts. Okay, so that's just the description for all of them. Enhances all types of gifts. Uh, Queen Slayer Thorn, a blood veil used for by forces in Operation Queen Slayer, enhances all types of gifts. Same thing again. And a blood veil that looks like a simple jacket, highly resistant to status effects. This is going to be a, like a hunter build, bloodhounds, yeah, kind of in the name really. Uh, and these are the ones that we've got, Queen Slayer Thorn and Queen Slayer Claw. We have slightly different attributes, one's for strength, the other one's for dexterity. Okay, so... I've got new weapons available. I hope there's something you can use. They're just the standard kind of weapons that we've seen already. Um, so we can transform equipment. We can upgrade equipment. Which blood veil do you want to transform? Let's see what we can do, because we're going to be using Queen's Letter Claw. Okay, so we have options. Alleviation. Is there another sc screen? Does it say what it does? Um, takes away gifts. Uh, so that one. Queen Slayer Claw Fortification. This one gives us gift power. Um, uh, Queen Slayer Claw Gifts. That's going to increase. But scaling. It takes off scaling. I don't know... Whether that's good or bad. Which weapon do you want to transform? And of course, um, we can do the same for these ones as well, just to try and 
Um, I don't know, maybe a reduce. Does that have a reduce weight option? Well, plus weight option. Reduce weight. And upgrade. We can upgrade our, our blood veil to uh, increase our gifts, which I think mm, probably is going to be wise at this stage. Let's just get a few in there. Um, I don't think we could do anything else with that. We're kind of low on haze. There you are, the revenant that Louis sees so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the provisional government as part of the investigation into the deaths. Just as a warning, try not to stir up any trouble. If you do, I won't be able to do my job and, well, you get it, right? Okay, Davis. So... Just so there's no confusion, don't cause any trouble, okay? Alright, sure. Davis. This is kind of like just the training arena. I got all there. The fridge. Full table. Um, Alright, so we got Davis, Murasame, uh, Coco, Louis, Abar. No one there. We're just sitting. Yeah. Um, what was this guy's name? All revenants carry some secret with them. <laughs> just Louis's friend. Don't do any. Oh, let's speak to the. Let's go again. Seems I can restore the blood flow of the vestiges creator from elements left in the vestige. If you find any vestiges, please let me know. It could be a chance to grant you additional strength. So that's interesting. It seems I can restore if you it could be. Um and we'll get to that in the next area of the game. We will go over what that means for us. So let's go. Take a bath. Uh, so this is just a, um, yeah, we're just going through all the characters to see what kind of different things we do. Once we've gone over these guys once, we don't really have to come back through them again, I don't think. There's loads of people out here. Just chilling out in some towels. Back at past memories. Okay, so this is like a a place where we can go back through the F and V sequences that we've had so far. I guess like a like a storyboard of what's gone on. Home base. Um, right, so let's go talk to, talk to Louis again. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection. So revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But, well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silver created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. 
if you could help us. Well, you'd be drawn into a better conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? Thanks. So, it's a done deal? Well then, from now on, you're one of us. Yakumo Shinonome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. And we think that means there must be a source somewhere, a kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check, check out, out the old city, city ruins, ruins first. Sorry, Sorry for the rush, but we, we should head out as soon as you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh, moving from missile to missile. Uh, you can move from one missile to another as long as they are activated. I know that this, uh, it is not enough to have visited an area. The miss missile must be active or you cannot move to it. Okay, <clears throat> so this is, what, this is where the teleport function comes into play. Uh, partners, certain allies at the base will accompany you as a partner while you explore. They can use gifts to grant buffs before battles as well as heal you with restorative offerings. You can also heal them and remove their stats alignment ailments. Oh, excuse me. Uh, each partner has their own unique fighting styles. Oh. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so which one? So we want to take. All oh, right, that's where we get uh, Mia. Version White, Yakumo, and Lewis. Those are our options. Uh, I highly recommend is to take a partner out with you. <laughs> um, and we get a teleport. Underground, entrance. I should probably have a look at these uh these new uh gift types as well to see if there's anything that we can any of any of the skills that we can uh, learn to move over to our caster skill our caster tree residents of the world activating missile allows other revenants and humans to enter areas that you've explored try returning to a place you've visited before and you just might encounter someone new by this guy Exploring this area too? Dang. I'm a merchant of sorts. I wander around selling valuables as I explore. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? I thought it might be dangerous, but I came all the same. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while, though. I think we were fated to meet. Take this map of the depths. 
I'll be around here for a while. If you want to buy anything, let me know. Thanks, buddy. Den of Darkness map. Um, As you travel around, you might find fragments of a past civilization. Materials from the old world. I collect stuff like that. A lot of rare things turn up in the depths. Even in the depths nearby, the lost are too powerful. Someone can't dig around. So if you're headed there, I'd like you to look around for any rare materials. Remember to look at the map I gave you if you need to double check the location. Greetings! Uh, true valuables. Okay, so this is another. If you have any materials from the old world, I can give you valuables in exchange. Okay, so this guy is going to give us uh, stuff to trade with people at home base, I'm assuming. Don't hesitate to come. Uh, assessing the depths. Bringing maps of the depths to Davis at home base allow you to explore different parts of the depths. The enemies are frightening and the exploration is tough, but haze and upgrade materials can easily be acquired. Okay. So if we head down this way, I think this takes us back to starting area. Oh, that's not good. Okay, no fall damage. God. Um, yeah, this is back at the starting area. Uh, so I'm just going to check some of these. So we got Berserker. Prometheus and Astrea. Um, I don't want to look at them first. Okay, uh, let's put our caster back on. And let's have a look. See what kind of new skills we can get. Um, so this one. I don't think there was anything we kind of wanted from here, apart from that, which is going to take a lot. It's 6,400 haze. Uh to get to buy to unlock even and then to level up um some of this stuff would have been nice um and we haven't had a look at this one yet this is prometheus uh, so we've got phantom assault a vanish like mist then do a jump slash an offensive skill performed with one-handed sword halberd or bayonet firestorm this is dark magic shoots a series of flaming projectiles that stagger the enemy Blade Dance temporarily increases attack power each time you damage an enemy with your weapon. And then we've got these ones. Uh, flame Weapon temporarily adds fire damage to your weapon, to, you, to your and your partner's current weapons. Savvy Evasion increases the amount of focus gained from dodging attacks. Uh, this one which we've got, Warding Mark tempor temporarily applies the in inhibit effect on your current weapon. Uh, Deft Parry fully restores stamina when you parry an attack. Strength dexterity up, increases strength dexterity. Hasten uses the power of Icor to temporarily boost reflexes, enhancing your dodges. One handed sword mastery increases attack power when equipped with one handed sword. That's, and that's a passive as well, so that could be pretty nice. Eternal Blade Dance, an enhanced version of Blade Dance, increases attack power when you dodge enemy attacks. Okay, so that's quite a lot to go through there. Um, well, I'm just going to kind of like run through this area again. This is going to give us to um, um, I can't remember what I was saying there. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go through this map again just to uh, See if there's anything we missed uh, from previous going through, previously going through this. I'm guessing. Um, um, that we take the map uh, back to the home base, and it kind of unlocks a different, like a kind of and kind of endless dungeon type type thing. That is powerful. So, we're gonna take damage when we block. Mm. 
which is I guess kind of the reason that I wanted to try uh, try and run a magic build just because we take damage when we block um, I'm assuming though if we find there are going to be some kind of uh, weapons or blood veils which kind of take that effect away so we can completely negate any damage Yeah, I like this weapon as well. It adds a bit of stagger. I don't know whether to that's if that's the most. Uh, to most weapons or not? I guess there's a case of trying them out. Yeah, just picking up a few more items and uh, getting used to the buttons again before we get into the difficult part of the game. Or well, the more difficult part. Yeah, there's something up there as well. So I'm gonna need to uh, get my drain leveled up as well, just so we can get more magic, magic back, more eye core back when we attack. And that's gonna help out a lot. Let's get used to that dodge as well. Have been playing. Um, what game have I been playing? Like one of the other games, uh, it's got like a, you press it once to do like a, a quick step, and then you have to press it twice to roll dodge. So this is just press it once and you roll dodge. I was just standing there like spamming the circle button. Old world materials. I think that's what that goes on about. Could be wrong. Yeah, it seems like that's some kind of currency. all these guys running up behind me and stuff but, but at this stage they seem to be fairly easy they're kind of slow as well so you can kind of just pretty much just walk around them and get back attacks stun vaccine nice 
That'll be useful to have on the hotbar. Did I switch any weapons? I didn't. We haven't even checked out any of our weapons yet. We do have some. We have the big weapons. That one. We've also got... I think I kind of like... This one's got a bit more damage. Um... Yeah, okay, I don't like the fact of going down away. I want to kind of like want to get his um get to the uh, light one as soon as possible. So I don't really want to be using that. keeps shutting down I need to uh kind of stop that somehow. Cause that's really annoying. That's gonna cause some issues. Yeah so we learned as well that like, this weapon it's got it's, it's oh maybe not that one. We must have picked up a different one. They're gonna have different um attack patterns as well like I thought it was this one but we do pick up one as well that gives like a kind of shotgun burst effect I'm not even going to bother with these little things no, no items left in this area just have a, a run around here we've got the big guy that guy Yeah, it doesn't look like, like we've missed anything out. We really can't be bothered to... Def number one. And we didn't even save at that spot. Uh, so when we die, we've got our, our like haze is uh, is on the map. We're gonna find our way back to that area. But yeah, that was me being a little bit careless there. Um, but no worries, that's probably gonna happen quite a lot with this gameplay. <laughs> I did actually want to see whether... Oh yeah, I was going to try and see whether that was like a more of an AoE attack. But it doesn't look like it is. That uh, normal, um, the first skill that we got is pretty. Got a really short cooldown. Seems to do quite a bit of damage as well. This is probably going to be our, first, our go to strike. And it costs two. Two I core to use. Uh, so not overly expensive. Uh, whereas the other one I think is five, six. Okay, so when you click on it, it's got how much it costs to use them as well, which is a nice little touch. Let's just pull this guy out here a bit. Don't want to kind of, don't want to get trapped again. Um, and 
that's a crowbar haze. It's right about core. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so again with this, I'm just kind of like running around to the places that I've already been, um, just in case we've like pretty sure we haven't missed anything, but just kind of to get a bit of practice on the easier enemies. Yeah, before we head off. Into the new areas. to work on timing as well. And my <laughs> positioning for back steps. like those. Uh, so I do believe in the next area, once we where we will be going in very shortly. Um, the enemies uh, are a bit more aggressive. They are going to attack. Attack on sight. I think they've been like charging. Uh, but yeah, let's just see if uh, we picked any of those Greetings. things up. I have a lovely select. So let's trade and sell valuables. If you have any materials from the old world. I can give you valuables in exchange. Okay, so we could just uh, buy them off. So we've got um, there's those cog things that we picked up. So we've got two. He sells each of these for one. So I guess we kind of need to. Uh, if we get those uh, items, we would come back to this guy, and uh, buy whichever character we we're trying to gain favor with, and give them gifts. So let's have a, just a quick run through of these to see if we could try and match these up. So this is Fragrant Tea. This item's value varies widely depending on who holds it. It has the curious power to strengthen humanity for some, giving it extraordinary value for revenants. The tea produces a lovely scent which dipped into water of just the right temperature, adding different herbs and spices provides new flavours to enjoy. Uh, local pennant. This item's value varies widely depending on who holds it. It has a curious power to strengthen humanity for some given extraordinary value for revenant. I think that's all going to be the same, okay. A small flag often seen at souvenir shops, its unique design gives rise to a flood of thoughts. 
Uh, flower seeds, no one knows the name of the blooms that may spring from these seeds, but they will certainly bring vibrant color if planted with care. Antique LP record. Music stored on a large disc, a format enjoyed by music lovers for generations because of its warm, soft sound. Custom gun parts. Items for modifying personal arms. Guns are able to accurately strike a revenant's heart, so many carry them to personal or personal defense. Uh, protein powder, a formula populated among members of the security enforcement unit Cerberus. When dealing with revenants wielding custom blood veils, muscle means quite a bit. Chocolate garlic flakes. These flakes of garlic coated in chocolate give off a scent that tickles the nose and were once popular for their addictive flavor. Blood bead candy. A piece of candy shaped like a blood bead and made to take your mind off its thirst. It is said to have a metallic taste to it. Okay, so I'm assuming like whenever we talk to people at home base, they're going to give like subtle hints of what they like, maybe. We can buy a few of those. Point. Right, so our next direction is this way. Let's take a little, a little walk down here. Over the fire. I haven't gone through the item chat either, uh, so we'll probably do that in next time. Okay. We've got this corridor. I'm a bit confused by what this corridor is. I think it's just like a loading screen into the next area. For it to seem... Seamless. Den of Dread. Is that what we picked up before? Let's have a look. Uh, Den of Dread. This is one we just picked up. A map leading to the depths. It holds the location data for the Den of the Dead. Limited uses. And Den of Darkness. A depth map given by Shang the Merchant. It holds the location data for the Den of Darkness. Unlimited uses. Okay. First thing. Um, yeah. So I forgot who would give them to a home base. Let's carry on. So let's go take us back up lead anywhere. I'm only assuming this is just like for purposes of loading levels. If we're completely wrong, maybe it's just like a big winded winding tunnel. Exceeded. That, that settles, settles it. You are absolutely, absolutely vital, vital to our operation. operation. There are more, more blood, blood springs, springs ahead, ahead, but the miasma, miasma is blocking the way forward. forward. Do you think you, you could, could clear, clear it for, for us again? again? Thank, Thank you. you. We know, we know where, where two springs, springs are, are thanks, thanks to past, past expeditions. expeditions. Let's, Let's go, go have, have a look at them. them. The territory up ahead is teeming with the lost. lost. Watch, Watch yourself. yourself. Okay, <clears throat> so we've... Um, so we're going to end this video here with... <laughs> a lot of talking with all the characters and stuff trying to get a bit, a bit more information and we've like kind of backtracked around the beginning area just to uh, get a bit more practice in uh, i'm going to continue playing on for this point um but for you guys i'm just gonna cut this part of it here and yeah hopefully you'll join me again in the next video we'll explore this new area together uh thanks like guys and take care